Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today our topic is DNA microarray. So DNA microarray. A DNA microarray, also commonly known as DNA chip or biochip, is a collection of microscopic DNA spots attached to a solid surface. So DNA microarray, it is also called DNA chip or biochip. DNA microarray is a collection of microscopic DNA spots. These are the DNA, DNA spots which are attached to a solid surface. Scientists use DNA microarrays to measure the expression level of large number of genes simultaneously or to genotype multiple regions of a genome. So the use of DNA microarray is to measure the expression level of large number of genes simultaneously or to genotype multiple regions of a genome. Each DNA spot contains the homos of a specific DNA sequence known as probes or reporters or oligos. So each DNA spot consists of a specific sequence which is known as probes or reporters or oligos. These can be a short section of a gene or other DNA element that are used to hybridize a cDNA or tRNA, also called antisense RNA, sample called target under high stringency conditions. The original nucleic acid array for macro arrays approximately now to 12 cm and the first computerized image based analysis was published in 1981. It was invented by Patrick O. Brown. Now the application of DNA microarrays. An example of its application is SNPs arrays for polymorphism in cardiovascular diseases, cancer, pathogens, also for identification of structural variation and measurement of gene expression. So these are the application of DNA microarrays in cardiovascular diseases in the detection of cancer or the detection of pathogens and also used for the identification of structural variants and measurement of gene expression. These are the general protocol of DNA microarray. This is normal cell and this is cancerous cell. After collecting sample, we cultured it and after culturing, we isolate, we isolate messenger RNA from both sample and after that, reverse transcription and labeling occur. The next step is DNA hybridization and after that, sample analysis is the last step of DNA microarray. So we will discussed one by one. There are four main steps of a DNA microarray analysis. The first one is simple isolation and preparation. The second is hybridization. The third one is washing. And the last one is analysis. Simple isolation and preparation. This step requires the control and target mRNA to be extracted such as a non-cancerous cell lines versus a cancerous cell lines respectively. The RNA is then converted into cDNA and labeled with fluorescence dye. Typically cyanine 3 a red fluorescence dye and cyanine 5 a green fluorescence dye are used to label the target and control of cDNA. The next step is hybridization. In this step, the simple DNA is 
hybridized with complementary probe sequence on the array chips. DNA will strongly or weakly hybridize or not at all. The resulting complex is also purified at this step. So the next step is washing. Slides are then washed with vapor to remove any DNA that did not strongly hybridize to a probe. This also helps prevent cross hybridization. Hybridization, hybridization by sample and probe state are not complementary. Now the last step is analysis. In the final step, the array chip is exposed to laser excitation showing the relative abundance of hybridized DNA in each target location. Fluorescent emission is, emission is measured using a confocal microscope. The resulting image of an array chip can be seen in the figure in this figure. Typically red represents area of down regulation. Green represents area of up regulation and yellow represents area where the target and control sample have the same expression. Faded areas would signify spots with low cDNA concentration. So, this is all about DNA microarray and the various types of DNA microarrays. Thank you.